What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at the Center for Stingray Biology. The heater is still not working. Um, I mean not the heater, the hot water is still not working. All my heaters are running like crazy. So uh, we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow the next day. But in the meantime, uh, we had some births today. Check it out. Um, some very nice babies. Really nice pattern. Nice, nice big spots. And um, we got some other ones right here that look a little bit different than those other two. You see? What could possibly be the reason for that? And I will get into it and explain a little bit more why when breeding hybrids we might get batches like that where some look one way and some look another way. There's also other phenomenons like what we call a split batch where it could be that two different males made it the same female and then when the female gave birth we have two different sets of pups or two different looking two sets of we have two different distinct looks and then the last last possible theory is maybe two females gave birth at the same time or on the same day all right so we will analyze the situation here and see which is the most likely phenomenon that happened to explain two looking like that and another two looking like that and that so you see these last two they look similar and those two look similar so what we're going to do is first is we're going to catch the pups put them away and then we're going to start examining the adults and try to identify who might have given birth today let's get to it I already got my buckets and trays ready and we're gonna start catching those pups right now. guys so it's funny how uh, pups they come in waves all right so just yesterday we had pups in here with the Bosmanis and then now today I got pups over here so I would expect in the coming weeks I'm gonna have more and more batches being born and then after that whole round of pups being born it's probably gonna die down a little bit and then um, probably uh, in between a few months before I get more pups but it, it always seems to happen like that coming in waves let's start catching these guys okay we're gonna start with these two darker ones here come on oh wow active. very active look 
at that. He just took off. And I have to say, my fish seems like they're a little bit on edge. I notice in every tank, they're, they're uh, getting startled very easily. And I'm wondering, is it because of the lack of hot water? And I've been changing water with cold water. And uh, the average temperature of the tanks has dropped by almost four degrees already. All right, now let's take a good look at this one. Okay, it's nice, it's darker, it has a lot of spots, okay? And it is a male. So let's put that in this container right here. And now let's grab the other one. Oh, well, he's all the way in the back now. I'm trying to catch all the ones with the same look first. So we can get both. Very active. Yeah. Oh, he's scared. He, he's. Oh, here we go. Come on, don't get away. Yeah. Oh, this is very nice. All right, we got him trapped. All right. So now let's look at this one. Very similar in look. So the first one, right? A lot of spots, very dark. Um, the spots have like a blurriness to it. It's not quite in focus. And it's a male. All right. Okay, now, I did notice, at first I thought it was only four, but there is one more in the back that was hiding behind the, the PVC pipe. So let's see what look this one is. And I'm trying not to scare. Normally I would be moving a lot faster, but like I said, the adults, they seem to be on edge. See, look at that. They're getting freaked out really easily. So this guy's right here. And I can tell already it's the same look as the other two. Right? Well, actually, it's kind. Of, this one's kind of in between. It's dark like the other ones, but these two have bigger, I mean, but this one has bigger spots than the other two. But I will put it in the tray and we'll get a look at it. Another male, three males. Okay, so. So definitely this one and this one are very very similar this one and this one's very very similar this one he's kind of in between let me pull out the other ones too but see this one his spots are more round and more defined already kind of like the other two that's down here so let's grab this one Come on, little guy. Alright, here we go. Alright. Let's get it in the tray. Okay. So now, we're looking at this one. Definitely very big difference from the others. Very nice spots, very big spots, very white, a little bit on the gray side to the base color, and the spots are very even and round, right? Female. It's a male. It's a male. All males. Hi. Okay, hang on one second. Let me pour some of this water out. There's too much water in here. All 
Okay, let me grab the last one and then I'll give you my analysis on what is actually happening here. Okay, I gotta be careful because he's near the big guy. And I don't want the big one to hurt this little one. Okay, come up. Come up, come up, come up, come up. There we go. sure you guys can tell already this is same as the last one or same look Man, there's a lot of crap in there okay now let's take a look at this one see same thing nice big spots a gray base nice perimeter spotting very round very beautiful fish you want to guess, Oi? No. It's probably male also. Oh, it's a female. All right. So we got a female. Okay, let's put it in here. Now let's see, what do we have going on here? So we got this one and this one, right? We agree. It's the same look. And then we got that one and that one. It's the same look. This one, now that they're all in the bucket together, I'm leaning towards that one, two, and three are from the same batch, right? Nice round spots, very defined. These other two here and here is smaller and odd shaped spots. Okay, so now what do we think happened here? I'm leaning towards two females giving birth at the same time. Um, but before I prove that theory, let's talk about the other theories. One theory is two males mating one female. I do have two males in this tank. All right, now let me show you those males. There's that guy back there with the rings. Okay, that one right there. So he's got the very even symmetrical spots, the bright white spots, um, just like these guys right here, right? It's that same type of spotting look. And that, and the other male is right here. A lot of spots, smaller spots, but his spots are also very round and uniform as well. So now, that first male can explain the look of the other ones and this male can explain the look of the two darker ones that has a lot more spots but smaller spots right so that being said we have to identify which female gave birth and then it is possible that those two males made it the same female and then so when she gave birth we got a batch like this so now let's look at the females we got the female back there. That one right there with the weird pattern, okay? And if you see the clasper fins at the bottom, there's bite marks on there. So, typically, after a fish gives birth, the males immediately go and try to mate. So that would explain the bite marks. So that's proof that she gave birth, right? And I know you can't tell from, from this angle, Maybe from the underwater footage, we would have been able to see it, um, how flat her belly is. If her belly is flat too, we got two signs that she gave birth. But now, here's the interesting part. This female here, she also has bite marks on her, on the two little paddles in the back, the plasper fins, right? Right, uh, see, she's all the way back there, so we can't tell. All right, maybe we can tell right there as she's swimming, the paddles come out. Okay, but anyways, I'm sure you guys believe me when I say it's there. That female has also uh, evidence of mating. These marks were not there yesterday. So we got two females with bite marks, and plus also her belly is, is flat as well. So it's possible that she gave birth to three pups, and then the first one that I showed you with the weird pattern, that one on the left, 
gave birth to the other two. And that's kind of what I'm leaning towards because also when I fed them earlier, sometimes, or uh, quite often times, after a fish gives birth, they don't really want to eat or they have a very reduced appetite. And those two fish did not eat. But here's the thing. I'm not a type of person to believe in coincidences. And it's, I think, too much of a coincidence for two births, I mean two females, to give birth at the same time. Now granted, it, it might not have happened at the exact same time, but the same night, right? Because last night when I left, nothing had given birth, and I come in this morning and I see these pups. So throughout the night, both these females gave birth. Who knows, maybe the cold water um, that I was using yesterday to change water triggered it. I don't know, but something caused it to happen. Feel free to let me know in the comments below which theory you think applies. Whether you think it is one female with two males or two separate females giving birth. And of course, we also have uh, more evidence of mating. Uh, it's right on the reflection, but right there at the bottom, there's sperm right there. So we've already got remating and uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. Every time I get pups, I'm really happy. And to get some really beautiful pups like that is always a pleasure. And uh, for all you guys who like big spots, there you go. We're gonna call that the end of today's video. I'm gonna go put them in their tanks right now. I already have it ready. I will see you next time, all right? Maybe tomorrow when the plumber gets here and we'll see how we can fix that heater. Uh, if it's not too boring, and if you guys are interested to see it, let me know in the comments below. It's always good to learn a little bit about plumbing and hot water heating, right? So let me know, and uh, if the comments are there and everyone's interested in seeing it, then when he does come, I will film that for you guys too, all right? But until then, I will see you in the next episode.